Welcome to another Gamma Partner Artist feature. Today we speak with Mag. Mag, who is a photographer who's inspired by the street. He loves how it's not ever the same canvas. It's always moving and always changing. He talks to us a little bit about his Mount Fuji from Tokyo photo. He talks about his inspirations and we touch on a little bit of Japanese culture. I hope you enjoy the conversation. Okay, so today we have Mag. Mag is one of our Gamma Partner Artists. <laughs> And Mag has been releasing NFTs, uh, you know, in various forms. He's a photographer. He's from Japan. He's released his Genesis print with us, which we're going to talk about later. But enough from me. Please introduce yourself, Mag, and tell us a bit about you. Thank you. And uh, uh, my name is Mark, and I, I'm a Japanese street photographer and artist searching for the beauty hidden in everyday life. So I, I studied the activity on Web, Web3 space in, in December to 2021. So my my team is uh, to shoot street photography that in the searching the moments uh, the real where reality and fiction uh, are ambi ambiguously inter uh, matched. Yeah, that's a simple introduction for, uh, yeah, for me. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. And so tell us, when did you start your photography? Uh, I studied uh, photography since uh, 2013, so about 10 years experience, yeah. What are your inspirations and, you know, what do you like to shoot? How has that journey been? The be beauty in everyday life, is, that, that is, uh, it, it, uh, it, it's difficult to find, but I, I, I try to, um, try to watch the not special, not special um, element, but, but I, I try to uh, watch the, um, beauty uh, in such the uh, uh, normal normal moment <laughs> yeah no yeah. i understand and so did you study photography how did you get into photography or only myself and i i tried to study about the uh, book and uh, photo book or uh, uh, youtube youtube uh, t tutorial and uh, as a as a uh, great uh, great photographer, and re uh, recently I study about the um, uh, other kind of art and not not photography. But I got uh, some in inspirations uh, from some abstract art or uh, generative art. Does not matter kind of. Uh, art genre but, but uh, it's the same uh, abstract art or photography to find uh, see, see find or seek the beauty to to the uh, mo moment or uh, about the so thought or feel feeling yeah that uh, it's only uh, different uh, different of the um, Method and um, method is different, but the uh, uh, purpose is the same. And were you creative when you were younger? How do you think you ended up pursuing photography and the arts? I, I was not excited about the art when, when I was young. When when I studied the um, activity about the Web3 or NFTs, so I. Uh, I become more interested about the uh, art, not only photography. Did you have artist friends or friends who got you into Web3? I have uh, friends, uh, especially ja Japanese artists. The artist named o Oto, do you know? I know. Yeah. O o audience artist, but he, uh, he is so uh, inspirational for me and uh, very, very creative. So I, I'm re I got the inspiration from his art. Very cool. And tell us about your first print. I'll pull it up. It was, you know, Mount Fuji being seen from Tokyo. Can you tell us about it? All right. Uh, yeah. 
and this this is uh, uh, Mount Fuji from Tokyo. Uh, name name is Mount Fuji from Tokyo. Uh, it's uh, taken from Shibuya, Tokyo. So uh, in Japan, it is rare to see um, Mount Fuji uh, uh, about uh, because uh, uh, from Tokyo because it's far away from uh, uh, one one hundred kilometer away from Tokyo. This time I I can I I could shoot shoot it. The date I shoot shoot it, the photo, it, the the day is the uh, uh, bright bright moment to bright moment Tokyo. So it's an important moment for me. Mount Fuji holds uh, a lot of importance for Japanese people. It's a big inspiration for a lot of art that I have seen, uh, you know, for Japanese creators. Does it inspire yeah. you as well? Yeah, I, I'm also inspired from Mount Fuji. Yes. Yeah. And what about other forms of famous Japanese artwork, perhaps manga and other like artists such as Hokusai who were etching into, you know, doing wood prints and things. Did you learn about those sorts of things? Yes, yes, I I I love the uh, ukiyo-e uh, and uh, ukiyo-e is the uh, tra traditional Japanese wood print uh, method. So, so it's uh, like a, a, a little abstract. So so um, I got the inspiration from. Uh, Ukiyo-e art and to take the photography. So, yeah, yes. Ah, uh, yeah. This this work is is also inspired by the uh, Ukiyo-e uh, artwork. Oh yeah. Yes. Can Can you explain more? Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, the name of uh, Ukiyo-e artwork is the uh, Thirty Six Views of Mount Fuji, and uh, uh, created by. Uh, you, you said uh, Hokusai, Hokusai yeah. Kakutsushika, yeah. So, um, I, I, I should, uh, I should it and edit it, uh, li like the Hok Hok Hokusai's artwork. Uh, it's, uh, I try to make, make this work more simple and, uh, um, symmetry and yeah so oh, very very cool and and what else do you like to photograph on the street what what strikes you when you carry your camera coincidence <laughs> meet me to the coincidence yeah and uh, so yeah it's uh it's not the the same same moment uh, in the street, so I it's like a jazz, jazz or uh, and so impro, uh, improvisation. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So um, uh, the, uh, I I keep I uh, I have uh, cu curiosity, uh, uh, more more and more uh, to be street. Yes. Yeah, and Japan is very well known for famous things like Pokemon and Doraemon. Did you grow up enjoying those things? Uh, yeah, yeah, I like Doraemon and Pokemon. Yes. Did yeah, it influence? Uh, does it influence you creatively? Yeah, I, I recently I watched uh, a lot of animation uh, created from. Uh, uh, created by ja Japanese animation studio. Uh, yeah, uh, it is uh, so uh, be beautiful, uh, beautiful output. So uh, I got uh, some um, I I inspiration or uh, uh, so how to co color, co uh, combining co color and the composition. Yeah, yeah, a lot of things. Uh, uh, I, I want to learn about from from uh, uh, Japanese animation. Yes. Very cool. And what can we expect from you moving forward? Where have you got an idea for your next prints on Gamma? Uh yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh 
I try to uh, creating the uh, um, artwork based on photography. So not only photography, but um, the essence or such as uh, great. I I said about that uh, great chart or generative art. So I I put into the motion motion or effect to the photo photography and so I try to um, make make a con connection uh, or to to the uh, bit Bitcoin or Bitcoin hit history or uh, ordinary history. So uh, and uh, represent the uh, value or beauty uh, through that through the art and um, my creation. Yeah. Uh, we look forward to it. We, the other day I tweeted that photography is a great way of capturing a moment and then putting it on Bitcoin then preserves that moment. How has releasing ordinals uh, made you feel and inspired you? And photography is, is the capturing the mo moment uh, not coming uh, again so and uh ordinaries is the on chain techno uh, on chain inscribing technology so it's i feel it's uh strong it has strong relationship between uh, ordinaries and uh, photography yeah that that's why uh, I I selected the pure, pure photography uh, to inscribe uh, my first gamma, gamma print. Well, Mag, thank you so much for our discussion. It's been lovely to get to know you a little bit more. Is there anything else that you want to tell the audience about you before we uh, wrap this up? All right. Uh, the first, uh, again, uh, th thanks for the time to talk, talk about uh, myself or uh, and uh, uh, my, my uh, artwork. So, so sorry about uh, not not uh, English, not speaking. No, English you've done well. Entry. You've done yeah, very yeah. well. Yes, uh, but uh, thank you. But but, but it is really uh, 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 variable time for me. So uh, and uh, I I will keep creating about the. Uh, Art, uh, creating artwork uh, on the audience. So I, I try to um, do some experience more and more to create artwork. Yeah. Hi, yeah. And Hi. thank you so well, much. Oh, doidashimashu there. We really thank you very much for coming on. And, you know, arigato gozaimasu. Ah, yeah, arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you, Meg.